If a group of Atlanta residents have their way, these Georgia State Patrol troopers, along with the city police flying squad, will be done away with. The group, called People United for Freedom, held its organizational meeting tonight at the Clark Howell Community Center near Georgia Tech. Members of the group would not let us film their meeting, but we did speak with one of the organizers, Octavius O'Neill. O'Neill says the recent step-up in police activity doesn't deal with the root causes of crime, such as inflation and unemployment. I feel that the answer is to uh, provide more jobs for you, um, is to um, increase welfare payments to people, um, to end layoffs, um, better education, um, especially for the youth, um, just for the city hall to deal with the problems. See, they're not dealing with the problems that create the situation of crime in Atlanta. O'Neill says he and his group question why the Jackson administration can afford to beef up police programs without providing more jobs for black and poor people. He also says the police stakeout and decoy squad should be done away with because they often harass poor blacks and whites. Members of People United for Freedom say they feel that the Georgia State Patrol troopers and the Flying Squad are in Atlanta to protect white businesses rather than poor people and black people. They say they hope to educate the public on how they feel. From Northwest Atlanta, I'm Cindy Glozier, Action News.